In the vast cosmos, humanity's search for extraterrestrial life has reached an electrifying milestone. Today, we will be heading to a cosmic mystery that could change the course of history. To the moment where scientists looking for aliens detect a signal from Proxima Centauri. Stay tuned till the end of the video. Astronomers who are exploring the possibility of finding life on other planets have detected a puzzling discovery. They've observed an unusual radio signal that seems to be originating from Proxima Centauri, which is the closest star to our Sun, located about 4.2 light years away. What makes this even more intriguing is that Proxima Centauri has at least two planets circling around it. One of these planets could potentially be similar to Earth, having a temperate and rocky surface. Proxima Centauri's planetary system includes two known worlds. One of them, called Proxima Centauri b, is situated at a distance from the star where conditions might allow for liquid water to exist. Water is essential for life as we know it, so the potential presence of a planet with liquid water is a significant point of interest. A project called Breakthrough Listen has been looking for signs of alien signals from a million nearby stars for 10 years. They were using Australia's Parkes Observatory to study a star called Proxima Centauri when the team found a strange signal, and they called it BLC-1. A $100 million project called Breakthrough Listen, led by Siemian and funded by tech billionaire Yuri Milner as part of Milner's Breakthrough Initiatives, made this exciting discovery. Since 2015, this initiative has been on a mission to search for signs of intelligent extraterrestrial life by using radio telescopes worldwide. This quest is widely recognized as the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, shortly known as SETI. Despite over half a century of dedicated efforts, no concrete evidence of alien civilizations has been found. Many times, potential signals turned out to be from our own satellites or human-made interference, and the search continues. Sophia Sheikh, a graduate student at Pennsylvania State University and a member of the Breakthrough Team, says that it's not unusual to come across strange things from time to time. But this is interesting because it's something unusual that requires us to consider what to do next. Sheikh and his team have a hunch that the signal might actually be from humans. But the discovery of BLC-1 is like finding a shiny gem in the treasure hunt for alien signals. They're getting ready to share two papers about the signal and their further investigation, although it's not quite done yet. And as scientists continue to investigate the signal and remind us that there might be a simple explanation, the thought of life beyond our planet is making people really excited. Now let's explore in detail the exciting tale of the most recent SETI discovery. This adventure started back on April 29, 2019, when a group of scientists from Breakthrough Listen set out on a thrilling mission. They used the Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia to study Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star, searching for signs of flares. Why, you might ask? Well, they wanted to understand how these flares could impact the planets around Proxima Centauri. This star system is home to at least two intriguing worlds. The first one, known as Proxima b and discovered in 2016, is roughly 1.2 times the size of Earth and orbits Proxima Centauri every 11 days. What makes Proxima b even more captivating is that it's situated in the star's habitable zone. This is a region where, in theory, liquid water could exist on the surface of a rocky planet, which we mentioned earlier. Furthermore, the intense stellar flares of Proxima Centauri might have stripped away the atmosphere of this world. But the story doesn't end there. In 2019, scientists made another remarkable discovery. Proxima C, a planet about seven times the mass of Earth, on a chilly 5.2-year orbit. This incredible journey into space exploration is filled with mysteries waiting to be unveiled. In a 26-hour study of a star, astronomers employed Parkes Observatory and also kept an eye out for potential SETI signals as part of the Breakthrough Listen project. The task of sifting through the data for these signals was undertaken by Shane Smith, an intern in Siemian's SETI program at Berkeley and an undergraduate student at Hillsdale College. It wasn't until late October that he discovered a peculiar narrowband emission at 982,002 MHz in the Proxima Centauri observations. To grab the attention of SETI researchers, 
A signal must pass initial automated tests to eliminate terrestrial interference. After this, hundreds of candidates proceed to further investigation, but most are eventually dismissed as errors or anomalies. Upon revisiting data from 2019, researchers noticed that the telescope had observed Proxima Centauri multiple times during 30-minute scans over a week, employing a technique called nodding to confirm the source of any potential signal. In five of these observations over about three hours, the mysterious signal reappeared, suggesting it may have originated from Proxima Centauri or a deep space source nearby before reaching Earth. However, Despite the unusual nature of this signal, the possibility of a natural cosmic source cannot be ruled out. The prevailing opinion among the Breakthrough Listen team is that the signal is most likely of human origin. Follow-up observations have yet to rediscover the signal, making it essential to confirm if BLC-1 is a true techno-signature. Radio astronomer Shami Chatterjee from Cornell University emphasizes the need for replicable observations to determine if this signal is of extraterrestrial origin. For almost 60 years, scientists have been listening to the sky for special radio signals that might come from aliens. It all began in 1960 with a project called OSMA, led by my dad, Frank Drake. These signals would be different from the natural radio waves that space produces. Instead, they would resemble the signals we use for our own communication. Think of them as messages from outer space these signals would be very specific and limited to certain radio frequencies. They would also have a unique drift, which means they would change slightly, showing that they are coming from something far away, like a planet around another star. Over the years, astronomers have found many potential signals. Some of these signals turned out to originate from celestial sources they didn't know about, like pulsars, which are the spinning remains of dead stars that send out radio waves. The first known fast radio bursts, which are short bursts of radio waves that are still somewhat mysterious, initially seemed like they might be created by intelligent beings. There were also signals called peritons, which are less powerful radio bursts that made scientists curious until they discovered that they came from microwave ovens. BLC-1 might be coming from something that isn't doing what astronomers expected. It could be a satellite that hasn't been identified yet, a plane flying overhead, a transmitter on the ground near the telescope's view, or maybe just something ordinary like faulty electronics in a nearby building or a passing car. In the midst of all their experiments, Simeon and the team deal with a lot of interference. They receive numerous signals, and the challenge is distinguishing between a potential signal from an advanced civilization far away and our own technology on Earth. After the initial discovery, the research team looked at Proxima Centauri again, but couldn't find anything. Scientists are currently working on creating new experiments to figure out where the signal comes from. They're also keeping the Parkes telescope pointed at Proxima to gather more data. Shake explains that to make any scientific claims, it's important to observe and recreate the phenomenon as that's how the scientific method operates. There are some signals in space that astronomers can't be sure where they come from. For example, there's the WOW signal that Big Ear, a radio observatory in Ohio, heard in 1977. It seemed like a possible sign of extraterrestrial life, but no one has been able to confirm it or hear it again. So for now, this mysterious radio signal is still unexplained. Astronomers are working diligently to understand its source and nature. It's possible that it could be caused by natural phenomena or even human-made interference. Further research and observations are needed to unravel the mystery. In the quest to find life beyond Earth, this discovery raises exciting questions and offers a glimpse of the endless possibilities that our universe holds. Scientists will continue their investigations, and in the future, we may gain more insights into whether this enigmatic signal is a sign of extraterrestrial life or something else entirely. And that's all for now. Thanks for joining us in this video. If you found this content engaging, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking insights. And remember, your comments are invaluable to us, so share your thoughts below. Until next time, stay tuned for more intriguing stories.